Wow, it's so lifelike. It's like I'm in there. What makes you think you're not in there? It's called the Happy Garden of Life. Dr. McKenzie looks great. He really captured the uh, humanity in his face. Humanity? You think that man represents humanity? Well, it must be nice to paint something that looks so real. You think I'm proud of that smear of paint? The Happy Garden of Life is hardly my idea of the real world. So what do you think the real world looks like? This rag. This rag has more to do with the real life than that painting. Glass half empty kind of guy. Is that a crime? If you hate it here so much, you know the number. To be or not to be. That is the number. Excuse me, are you Davy? Aye. Was well, this where I'm supposed to come? Well, that depends on your business. Well, I'm supposed to pose for a picture. My name is Laura Duncan. And you gas people. What? Never mind. <laughs> it's a beautiful picture. Looks like heaven or something. Or something. Duncan, Duncan. Ah, here we are. Laura Duncan. Yes, you're entitled to be immortalised. Take a look at the painting. Are there any faceless bodies you'd like me to put your head on? There's still a few good ones to go. Well, I, I don't really know. I don't know much about art. Quite right. Body's just a body, eh? As a master of the fine arts, I would suggest this one here. What? The one putting the dead branches into the furnace. It's not the disposing unit of the department. I'm in service. I don't do any disposing. You say you know nothing about art, then in your next breath you prove you know more than I do. You're absolutely right. A pruner would be much more suitable for a DOT hostess. How about that one there in the middle, clipping the apple off the tree? Well, that put me next to Dr. McKenzie. Does that bother you? Oh, God, no. Uh, that would be an honor. I take it you're another one of his admirers. Who wouldn't admire him? He helped stop the aging process. He was a key figure in the Climate Correction Initiative. He even helped found the first ethical suicide studio in Livingston. All right. Nothing would please me more than having you next to Dr. McKenzie for all time. Sawing off limbs. Is that more suitable? Well, that's... Sort of like what I do. Miss Duncan, Miss Duncan. What are you doing here? You know this is where citizens enter the world, not where they exit it. We're supposed to be in the same picture together, Dr. McKenzie. Wonderful. Wonderful. It's a beautiful picture to be a part of, isn't it? Oh, it's just such an honor to be in the same picture as you. Uh, Miss Duncan, the honor's all mine. Let me tell you, that women like you, this wonderful world we live in, wouldn't be possible. Can you guess what just happened here? No, no I can't. Triplets. Huh. We had triplets born here less than a half hour ago. And I had triplets here for years. Do they have volunteers for that? Well, last I checked they had one. They were trying to scrape together another two. Must have gotten them then. Uh, quite sure we've only had singles through today. I mean, unless there have been more since I've been here. What's the name of the happy father? Welling. Ed, Edward James Welling. Mr. Welling. Didn't see you there. The invisible mind. Just received a phone call saying your children have been born. They're all fine, so is their mother. I'm on my way to see them now. Come now, Mr. Welling. You don't look very pleased. Pleased? Which man in position would be pleased. I get to pick which one my babies gets to live and then I have to take my grandfather to Livingston for an appointment with one of your bitches. You don't believe in population control, Mr. Welling? I think it's PG. 
Would you prefer we went back to the good old days when the population of the Earth was 20 billion, about to reach 40 billion, and then 80 billion, and more and more? Do you know what a druplet is, sir? No. A druplet, Mr. Welling, is one of the grains, one of the little knobs on a blackberry. Now, without population control, human beings would be packed on the surface of this planet like druplets on a blackberry. Now think of it. In the year 2050, before scientists like Dr. McKenzie came along, <laughs> there wasn't even enough drinking water to go around. But people still insisted on breeding like rabbits, having the right to live forever if they could. I want those kids. All of them. Of course you do. It's only human. I don't want my grandfather to die. No one's ever happy taking a living relative to the suicide studios. Think about it, Mr. Welling. This child of yours, whichever one you choose, he or she either going to live and grow on a rich, clean, happy planet. And two centuries ago, when I was a young man, Earth was a hell. Nobody thought it would last another 20 years. And now, centuries of peace and prosperity stretch before us, as long as we care to imagine. All of this, all of it, it's only possible because of population control. Mr. Welling, Mr. Welling, please. Hello?